Whew. Today, I woke up feeling amazing. This mattress is so comfy, and it has helped us sleep a ton. Today's video is brought to you by Helix Sleep. Helix hit us up almost a year ago now and wanted us to try out their mattresses to see if it would help our sleep. As you guys know, Victoria and I are both self-employed. We work from home, and we run two companies. So sleep for us is absolutely huge. We need to get good sleep, invaluable sleep, deep sleep. This Helix mattress that we have has completely changed our sleeping habits and the puppies too. They're an online company that sells mattresses and sleep goodies. Go online, you take a quiz. Based off of that quiz, and based off of your sleeping needs, they will recommend you guys a certain mattress. We have the Moonlight Lux, because that's what works best for us. Once the mattress is recommended, you buy it, it's free shipping right to your door. It's in this little box, don't know how they fit it in there, but I'm not gonna ask questions. You also have a 100 night sleep trial. 99 nights from the time you get it, if you don't like it, they will ship it back. It's a full money back guarantee, but you're not gonna do that because it's full amazing. If you go to helixsleep.com slash evanshanks, I can save you guys up to $200 and two free pillows with your mattress purchase. Go to the link in the description and check them out. At least take the quiz and see what mattress they recommend for you. Thanks to Helix for sponsoring. Let's go on to the video. Holy car parts. Kind of ironic that this guy came in today. Look, you guys. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, we went out and bought Victoria a new car. Now, for those of you who might not watch every video, she's uh, very pregnant. <laughs> and uh, we needed to get her something that's a little more practical. Watch out, buddy. Move. I'm going to kick you. I don't want to kick you, bud. Several months ago was a really, really rough time for Victoria and I, especially Victoria. We unfortunately had two miscarriages over the last uh, year and a half. Um, really bad, like back to back and it was horrible. Really bad time. So what I wanted to do was, uh, I guess this was about six, seven, I don't even know how many months ago it was, but I bought Victoria a P31 package C63 AMG because we've always had like mom cars because she's been mentally preparing to be a mother, but she hasn't been able to because of all the miscarriages. And so I wanted to get her something really, really cool. And then of course, <laughs> God is good, but uh, as soon as we buy this, we get pregnant for the third time and it's, uh, so far, it's a successful pregnancy. Um, so now, despite what anybody thinks, this is not a practical car for a mother. Despite the exhaust, I mean, the P31 package comes with carbon fiber and Alcantara, and it's not, it's not something you wanna put a car seat in and have somebody pee and poop and vomit and throw Cheerios all over the place. It's a really nice car. So before we go on and show you guys what we got her, I am not really opposed to keeping this. Uh, these cars are just gonna go up in value because it's the P31 package. It's not just a normal AMG. I'm not opposed to just keeping it around. I honestly love this car, but I have a lot of cars. I drive a lot of things and I don't need it. So I've thought about selling it. I would sell it for like 35,000 or so it seems to be like right out where the market is but if not um, I would love to trade this car for like maybe a really super clean FDR X7 uh, left-hand drive Supra maybe even an R32 or R33 GTR with some cash I saw one of these sell for like 43,000 the other day kind of impressed anyways we waited a little bit this time because of the unfortunate problems that we've had in the past with pregnancies. We are now in the third trimester. Uh, Victoria's good, the baby seems super healthy, and so we were like, you know what? I think it's time, babe. We can finally get you the mom car that you've always wanted. So this is by no means a dream car, but like, it's a dream come true because you can buy cars all day long, but you can't, you can't buy a family, especially after all this heartbreak. So anyways, don't know what to do with this thing. I love it, I'll keep it around, I guess but they are actually on their way. They're delivering the car to our house right now. There we are. Look at that beauty. We got another Tahoe, just kidding. Yeah, at first I was like, wait. Did That's you, not what did we you got. Pull a real on me? Man, I'm excited for you guys to see this. Honestly, I'm just more excited for her. This is great, because this is all her. Come on back. Yay. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she has been talking nonstop about this for two weeks. No, it's okay. It's okay, man. So when we, we bought this a couple weeks ago, and uh, it had some like, oh, this looks perfect, man. You guys did do a great job. Oh uh, yeah, it has some like just like paint fade over here, and we had them fix that, and that's it. It looks good. Ah. Uh, <laughs> There's an Evan Race car. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh that is amazing. My gosh. Aww. These are so cute. You guys. That is. <laughs> <laughs> Baby on board. A little. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. That is awesome. How fun That's is so, this? Thank you guys so much. That is awesome. Oh man. Oh, that is so fun. 
fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is it. This is where the magic happens. So that is uh, a car I imported from Japan. It's a Nissan R33. Um, that's my. That's the car I showed up with the other day. The yellow one up top is also a car that I imported from Japan. It's called a, you know what a Mitsubishi Evolution is. Yeah. So that was before they were legal in America. That little Miata on the bottom is a car I built for my sister. And then I have a Lexus IS300. That's it's got a big turbo on it. One below it's a little Civic that. I've kind of neglected, and then I've got, that was her uh, Mercedes, and then I have a Toyota Supra in there, and I have a couple cars that aren't even here, so. Very cool. Yeah, a little bit of a collection. <laughs> it's the first time I've like really never been involved, and I basically just said, just get whatever you want, because this is your mama car, and it needs to be cozy. This thing is really cool. <laughs> so this is like the Tahoe, but way nicer. We had to get the Sport Edition, what is this, like the Sport, to, sport something. Sport. Yeah. So we got, the carbon fiber, and we got black interior. The other one had like this weird, just like really old people kind of like beige interior and with wood grain. The, the fake wood grain. Yeah, and so, but I like this. Like it's got some really cool brown stitching and stuff. CarPlay, you finally have CarPlay, <laughs> which is the best. Oh, nice. When baby's napping, close it up. Close that boy up. It goes halfway, doesn't it? I, I can tell it's stopped when. Oh, I'm nice. Right. So this is a Cadillac. This is an XT4. Sport. Sport. So we've got a turbo. I mean, I guess like it's just like a, it's just a, it's a, it's a, it's a turbocharged four-cylinder, small, teeny version of the Escalade. Okay, so why did you want this one? Well, so or why did you want like the size of car? I was gonna say because you asked that at the dealership, so I didn't want to go back to like the Tahoe size because we have the truck, and so we didn't need something so big. Um, but I definitely wanted something bigger than a sedan or even like we've looked at hatchbacks mm -hmm. and I wanted more space. Mm -hmm. Like I used to have a crossover, mid-size crossover and I loved it. And so that's kind of how I got back to this size. What were the other cars you were looking at? Cause I know you wanted this one. We actually looked at like a Volvo at the dealership too. I was didn't, unimpressed with the Volvo. Didn't like that. The CX-9 was a contender, but this one, honestly, safety was the biggest, especially with baby mm -hmm. coming. This had like the best safety review. And so that's kind of what sold me on this between, I think this and the CX-9 for the top two. We also didn't want to like, whenever we're, I would have just bought her a G-Wagon or something. But the thing about those is one, they're really nice on the inside. And like, these are, these are just like super plain, good old American leather. Mm -hmm. It's easy to clean. There's no Alcantara or anything. Like it's just, simple but the g-wagon also like is really unreliable everybody knows that they have a lot of insane issues like that yeah. and like range rover so i didn't want my criteria was like it has to be something that's easily serviceable and it has yeah. to be something that's reliable especially just in case like if i'm ever out of state or something and you're yeah. carrying the baby you got the baby with you like it can be fixed or replaced and um just something to note this dealership we got from sewell is really cool because they'll actually like come pick the car up and uh, do oil changes and stuff for us and they'll get us like a loaner if anything ever goes wrong so that was yeah. that was another thing like for me i don't care about that kind of stuff but for her car i was like that was my one criteria and i was like as long as it meets that convenient get whatever the hell you want we've been looking for the past few months it smells good mm -hmm. we've been looking for the past few months and we weren't necessarily in a rush i think may was really kind of like our deadline before she came but we're like hey if we find like a good deal or the car that we want we'll just kind of pull the trigger at that point mm -hmm. so we found this and i'm glad we stayed around so they didn't have it on the lot when we got there we had to wait for like two hours and i'm really glad we did yeah well so why why, do you, why did you want the, the X-T4? Like, is there something cool that stuck out to you aside from just like the size? Why the, why the Cadillac? People are gonna wanna know, like, why didn't you get the Volvo? Why didn't you get a Mazda? Why didn't you get a Lexus? This had like the best of everything. So it had, I'm very impartial to sunroofs, like full sunroofs. So I'm gonna say that was a big factor to me. Yeah. Ever since we got rid of my old car, I've always talked about that having a full sunroof. So that was a big factor to me. It has everything I wanted where other cars, they'd have like one really good feature, but then some other ones like the CarPlay and stuff like that. So it really just checked off all the boxes that I yeah. personally was looking for. And I'm gonna be honest. I'm not really like a Chevy guy, but GM's vehicles that we've had have always been really stout and good quality. And anybody mm -hmm who's anybody like Uncle Jim's wheel and tire shop can still fix a Chevy so something that was really simple and then something that was good quality like the interior on this is super nice yeah and I'm the features impressed. are really nice like they're just it's just really simple and it's good for like like a normal life plus like yeah. it's not a it's not a showboaty car and people aren't gonna notice Victoria out and about when she has a baby you know yeah. well, and that's the other thing is I kind of want to blend in well no just like with Oopsies. her if I'm running errands and stuff like I don't want people knowing I'm in the car with a baby because people will be like pull up to the stop I'd be 
like Victoria and then like Rev. You know, uh -huh. what if our baby's sleeping? Or like if they try to do a burnout, like I don't want to get hit. E350Z so. guys, bro. And, and Mustang guy. <laughs> Talking about the G-Wagon and stuff, we have friends that have a few kids and the G-Wagon is big, but they're like the interior is so small. And that's mm -hmm. another thing is like- but Didn't TJ say that same? Or maybe Sabrina. Sabrina, Sabrina, Sabrina said that you. it's like, even the four by four is so big, but she's like, there's no space inside. Even with all the other crossovers, like I'd look at crossovers <laughs> and the back seat was so cramped because it had like a bigger trunk or something. Mm -hmm. Well, we have a friend that has like an Audi Q4, Q4, Q5 even. Yeah. And like this yeah. one, this one has better room and stuff like that. This is just gonna be a really good, this is yeah. gonna be good. Like leather is really good for like baby seats because you can uh, you can actually like, if it's real leather, wash. you can actually work it out. And you, well, you can wash it too, but like it'll indent leather. Like you can't fix Alcantara with like imprints and stuff oh, like that in yeah, it. yeah, yeah. So that's another reason why we don't wanna, like we're just, we're, we nixed the idea of keeping the C63 as her like, baby driving car that makes no mm. sense like we have plenty of other cool cars and as cool as the life yeah. we want to live like it is nice to have just a regular ass car when it's so funny i've gotten so many like you just suck it up and use the c63 but I'm well, if we, we don't have this. that option then why do that like i don't yeah. know this is our life too and we want to make sure i wanted to make sure that she t she was able to make a decision best for her like i don't care it's just another car congrats like, thanks you have the newest car we've ever bought <laughs> i know and it has massage seats i don't know if you had that on film earlier but this oh massage. yeah boy hold up so see that see that roll oh <laughs> i'm getting massaged you want to take it for a spin or anything or what do you yeah. want to do you know what's funny oh I can't even, I'm getting to the point where I'm not even that big, but I can't even get in my, like, C63, because the sides come out so far, I'm, yeah, like, that's fair. trying to get they out. Have, the C63 has race seats as well. I did kind of jump in and make the executive decision to not do the regular red tail lights. The crystal ones look, like, ten times better. You know what, I feel like it's only fair. We should go on a family trip. You guys want to go for a ride? Let's go for a ride. Come on. Go to Mommy's car. Family trip. Hey, we gotta get ready somehow. Go, get up there. Get up there, nice. Breaking it in. Hey bud, look at mommy's new car. <laughs> oh God, your breath smells so bad, dude. Right. Oh, there we go. Actually, I need to do my mirrors first. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah? I know, dude. Look at this family car we got going on here. I'm so excited. Uh, <laughs> I know, it's so exciting, it's so exciting. This is the quietest vehicle I think I've ever rode in in my life. Oh, and it's all wheel drive. <laughs> oh, it is all wheel drive. That was a must. That was a, like on the must have. Sitting in the Volvo at the dealership and it just was not comfortable. Night night. I think this was a win, babe. Oh yeah. What you think, bud? Nice and safe. Nice and safe. <laughs> Keely, what are you doing down there? <laughs> Hi, girl. This isn't the dream car, but I think it's cooler than that because, like, this is something that we've dreamed of. Yeah. A stage of life that so you, especially. I think this is like a more important step than a dream car, you know? Yeah. We have as we have so many cars, we have so many cool things, but like, this is something you get whenever you're at a stage of life that money can't buy. Obviously, like there's adoption and stuff like that, but when you're trying to procreate and make a baby, you know, there's not many people have that opportunity, and like, you know, the opportunity is sometimes squandered, like uh, it's been for us. Uh. Come on, Keely, let's go, go inside. Come here, girly. Oh, you want me to get you? Okay, oh, she's like, okay. All right, the huge reveal, the Cadillac XT4. <laughs> <laughs> for Victoria and the baby. I actually really like this thing. It might be kind of cool to do some like I might have uh, get dipped do some We can do a chrome delete. We might be able to do some some stuff But honestly, this is gonna this is a super incognito it needs a detail though I know we gotta do it. I don't know. I don't know about that one, but <laughs> You're the best whew, one. It's gonna be that's gonna Are be interesting. You ready? No No, no, but I guess so. I guess I don't have a choice <laughs> Um, I guess my uh, daily advice for you guys today um what do you think we should, what do you, what do you think? You talked about it before, but dark seasons can be really dark. And a lot of y'all know our story. And kind of like you said, this isn't necessarily like a dream car, but it's a dream stage. Or See, like I can tell you, like I struggled after both babies. Like I struggled with s severe depression. Mm -hmm. And I had really dark thoughts. But 
you don't have to stay there and I think that's the biggest thing is a lot of people feel stuck but there is hope and it's just it will get better like it will get don't, don't give up it's gonna feel like it's the end of the world but don't give up whatever you're going through everything also does everything that happens is also like a development of character too mm -hmm. and everything that happens in your life is absolutely for a reason there's no there's no questioning that you got something really dark going on in your life that's something you will be able to help others go through mm. in the future um, so you can always use your life as a testament to others and yeah. uh, it's like how I use the pain that I've had in my life to try and you know bring you guys a little bit of joy and and uh, advice at the end of each video because you know I've gone through a lot and we've both gone through a lot and we want to help you guys out but yeah. yeah there's definitely some really dark times in your life but just remember that they're all for a reason and um, you'll absolutely get through it if you, uh, if you keep your head to it sometimes sometimes it feels like you're a little like you're neck deep or you're drowning but there's always oxygen so and it's always okay to like ask for help you know mm -hmm. like there's no everybody like you said everybody is going through stuff and you don't have to do it alone and I think as soon as I started talking to you about like how I was mentally, it it made it easier to get through that stuff. And whether that's a, a spouse or like a best friend or a counselor, like just talk to somebody. I got my uh, I got my my massage seats on, so I'm feeling very <laughs> comfortable. This was definitely an exciting video to be able to make for you guys. <laughs> um, it's gonna get hectic here in a couple months. We are we're. Two yeah. months out, three months out. Three months, three months out. months I out. just hit. I just hit the third trimester yesterday. Yep. Let's go. Thank you guys for watching. We love. We both love you guys so much. Um, thank you for all the support you've done yeah. uh, through uh, for us through Five Three Supply and just been watching our videos over the years. It's huge. We thank you guys for it. You guys have an amazing day. Peace. Hey. I got two videos for you guys to watch. Helps me a lot if you watch them. Plus, they're good videos. Plus, you should make sure you hit subscribe and turn those notifications on. Have a great day. Bang.